Today's model has a beautiful covered patio area along with this amazing pool. It's beautiful, let's check it out. Hello and welcome to another episode of Orlando Home Show where strategy matters, passion rule and today I am back again in Isles of Lake Nona. It is one of my favorite communities here in Lake Nona with Pulte Homes and today I'm going to be showing you this beautiful four bedrooms, three and a half bathroom, two story home with a really nice loft but more importantly a beautiful backyard with a great pool and an extended lanai. So let's go in and check it out. So guys, you know, if you are in the market looking for a home, you may want to start the process. Now, I know I'm probably beating the dead horse here, but I've been saying this because I'm seeing what's happening. I actually did a model uh, for a couple of models here before, and the lot price were a lot less than what they are today. So the lot price right now, as of today, at the time of shoot and release of the video, is between sixty dollars to $170,000. They have actually gone by 30000 and the size of the lot is about fifty by 120. Now guys, this is a builder model, so it's gonna have a lot of bells and whistles. It is a four bedroom, three and a half bathroom, but it can be built as a five bedroom and a four bathroom. So it really depends upon what your family need is. So as I walk in, we have this fire area right there with some lights over there. The ceiling height is about uh, nine four on this. And as you go in, this is the first room. This is actually a flex room that could be used as an office, as a gym, whatever you like. I really like the stone uh, thing right over here. Now this of course is an upgrade, but you can actually convert this room into a bedroom. So they will extend this out. So let me go ahead and show you half a bathroom that actually comes with the house as it sits right now, but that could be converted into a full bathroom. Uh, so this is your half a bathroom and for half a bathroom, it's a pretty good size but you have a structural option that give, allows you to actually convert that into a full bedroom and have another full bathroom downstairs. Now, as I walk in, this is your garage over here. It is a two car garage, you know, nothing spectacular, but one thing that I do want to point out is that you see the paint over here, that's actually an upgrade. And then this house specifically has this uh, uh, central vacuum for, for, the, for the second floor. So these are the options that you have. Now guys, you know, I know that uh, uh, a lot of my, my viewers, when they watch our videos, they are not really sure what exactly is included in the price point. So I do want you to know that every builder has a feature sheet. And then I will be more than happy to provide you that if you put in the comment below. Your laundry is downstairs and look at the size of this laundry. So you have your washer and dryer over here and then this one doesn't have any cabinets up there but it has a lot of room for you to be able to do that and a small wash station. So there are options that you could do but what I really like the fact is that when I walk in it just completely opens up and I've said this a couple of times. As a matter of fact, I've actually done the model, this model in a different community a while ago and I loved it so much that I wanted to bring that again to show you what are the other possibilities because the two models are very similar in the floor plan but they're very different in the way how they're decorated. Like in this instance, they had that stone wall both in the flex room and also in the living area. And I'll show you that in a minute. But I really like all this space, this big island with the split uh, sinks over here. What I like is the backsplash over here. And then you also have a good size pantry, which is right around over there. So it's very comfortable in, in that regards. You do get a lot of space, but what I really like is this space. So it's not a formal dining area as such, but it does gives you a lot of room over here. And then that kind of opens up for the family to have fun. You can have a little bit of formal dining there. And this is the wall that I was actually talking about. So it has this stone elevation wall. So these are the things that you can actually do with the builder. Now guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so because I bring you brand new model every single week. 
and I'm also bringing you more resources. So please connect with me if you are looking to buy. We would love to help you. Call me, text me, email me. Now the master bedroom in this specific model is actually downstairs. So let's go ahead and show you that. Now, of course, it's a builder model, so it will have a lot of bells and whistles. So, you know, these things are very easy to do. So that is something that I don't usually recommend my client to do or spend the money on. What I do want my clients to be spending the money on getting these extra lights like they have over here. And, and um, in terms of, uh, you know, if you have an outside covered area, then I would like them to get it plumb because, you know, Florida has a, a good outside living space. And when you have a bigger lot like the one over here, you could actually open up a summer kitchen or if you have the plumbing, then you can do a summer kitchen and that would be really good uh, in sense if you like to entertain people and you love to cook. So, I, and I love to do both of those things. So I believe that that would be a much better uh, design center option as compared to other things you know so as I walk in this is your master bathroom it does have the double sink over here and and you have the uh, quartz upgrade what I really like over here again is the walk-in shower with the nice transoms now the tiles as you would see do not actually go all the way up but there is an option for you to be able to do that and then as I go you have your commode area but then you also have a very comfortable big linen closet right over there. So a lot of space in this house. You know, the square footage of this house is just about 2894 square foot. And then you have this closet, walk-in closet. So it's kind of sectionalized. So it goes like there and then it's over here. So this would be perfect for me in the sense because all the space I get would be here. So I'm not sure about your household, but the wife takes over. Put that in the comment below. Uh, you know, I, I try not to show my, my videos to my wife because I mention her and the kids a lot, but those are real life experiences because that's what happens. All the married people with kids know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, if you are going to be in a doghouse that I often find myself, then you will be enjoying your stay in this little closet space. So this is a cavity right underneath the strays. They're using it really well. So they made it into a little closet, a little space area or the dog house, if I may. You know, so that's really an option in that regards for you to be able to use. Now, one thing that I do also want to show you is the outside area, because to me, this is an amazing feature of this house. Now, you do have the two doors here and they actually open up all the way. And those of you who watch my video all the time knows that I always try to get them to the back and I can't do it today because I think it's got stuck. But the point is that they actually go all the way back and this whole thing kind of opens up. Now look at your extended lanai and what they have done over here. Now you can also have that as a summer option because I've seen that in other places. You can also have this lanai extended. Now it is raining today, so I'm not gonna go in there uh, and uh, because I still have the upstairs to show you. So maybe I'll do that later and jump in the pool and enjoy the rain, I guess. But you have a beautiful pool area, but if you don't build that pool, you still have a lot of space for your kids. So let's go upstairs and, and let's check out the second floor. Now guys, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. I would really love for you to subscribe to my channel, show us some love so I can make sure that we bring these videos in front of people like yourself. So let's go upstairs and have a look. So as I take you upstairs, the one thing that I do want to point out is that these railings, you know, that's actually an upgrade. You have different choices. You can also have an iron railing that I've seen in other models. The other thing that I want to point out is that if you didn't have an upgrade, you're going to have the carpet all throughout the stairs. But in this case, they have really nice flooring right over there. And, and also the risers, they are kind of, they kind of have some sort of a back, black splash over there. Now look at all this open space over here, which is your loft area. You do have three bedrooms and two bathrooms upstairs. So let me show you one of the rooms that I really like over here. It has its own bathroom, so it could be a really nice guest suite if that's what you wanna do. You know, it has a full bathroom, which is a shower tub combination. And it has um, some really upgraded tiles. You have the cards. What I really like is the vanity upgrade. So there are a few things that you would want to spend the money on, especially when it comes to your kitchen and the bathroom areas. And then you also have a closet right over here. So the size of the room is pretty comfortable. It's big, it's spacious, but more so it's welcoming all the light that you do. You know, today it's actually raining pretty bad. 
but you can still see the amount of light that it's bringing in. And then as I go around, you have another full bathroom, which is a shower tub combination. Again, very much similar, just a little elongated, a little more spacious. And then I really like the color of the vanity and the cords. So these are the things you, along with the tiles that you have. And then you also have a linen closet. So it has a lot of space in, in that regard of what you want to do. And then you have another bedroom right over here which is very similar to the size are just a little bit smaller with two nice big bay windows. And then you also have a walk-in closet right over here, which is actually a little deeper closet. You know, so you see how deep the space is right over there. So it gives you a lot of space. So if you have kids, you know, they can have their own independent room and still have enough space to do what they have to do. So this is the other bedroom that I have. And I love the way they decorated, you know, this is probably the best way. I thought it was a wallpaper, but apparently it's some sort of a drape that's hanging from the wall. You know, so these are the things you can actually do. So you don't really have to spend a lot of money. I was actually thinking the other day, I'm going to do a section specifically because I go to a lot of design meetings. And sometimes I see my client just getting carried away with so much money spending on upgrades which they don't necessarily have to do that and the reason I say that is because you're not going to get that money back when you're selling so you may want to be strategic about the, the amount of upgrades that you're getting that is going to make sense one of them is to get extra lights the other one would be if if you want to get the wiring done if you have a really big uh, a great room then you want to probably able to have some kind of outlets or extra outlets from the ground so you can plug more lights or for TV or something so that would be something that I'll suggest I'm actually going to go ahead and do that video and, and show you so it has another closet right over here you know let me know what your thoughts are and guys again if you are looking to buy a house you want to start the process now because things are going crazy in this community when i did the video for uh two of the models uh before the prices of the lot and the base prices of the home were very different the base price on this is almost six hundred thousand dollars it's about 598 900 you know i look forward to serve you so give me a call and remember guys i don't work for the builder you know I, you can use my expertise my team's expertise i would love to be the agent of choice and guess what? You do not have to pay me. I get paid by the builder. However, you have a benefit of somebody who's been doing this every single day to be able to help you and guide you in the process of you buying the right house. Again, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Press that thumbs up button. Thank you again and bye for now.